morning world good morning ladies and gentlemen nice to meet you here on new trading week it's calendar week 17 or 16 i don't know i think it's like 16 and it's monday april 19th i'm really happy to have you here in our morning briefing show uh, from admirals and i'm really happy that we can talk about the markets today and different things about the humanity in trading the law of probability of course, our trading. And you can see in my lovely backgrounds, so now we have to talk a little bit about a couple of books. So I hope you had a great and lovely weekend. And I hope you had a great start into the new trading week. And first of all, as first of all, we stream this show live on YouTube in this moment. So you can uh, give us a like there, you can share it. And of course, um, on the right button, yeah, on the right button here on this button you get a link uh, there's a button you can push it and you can make sure that you ne will never miss an episode and of course below that video you can give us our comments of course the likes and comments whatever is in your mind get in touch with me directly or with admirals there and all links about the account and a couple of other links you will find there and you can see there and you can follow there so guys, let's switch to the charts, uh, basically about to what we wanna talk today. And uh, let's see, I need your, I need the chat. Alexander, wonderful, good morning. And here we go. There I can see your names. That's really lovely. That's really cool. So I have to say good morning world. It's nice to meet you here again on the YouTube as well. So feel free, uh, Arnold, wonderful, good morning. Thomas, Don, uh, Mihai, Simas, wonderful, good morning. And of course, my lovely family in Thailand or wherever you are right now. So Thomas, wonderful, good morning. So let's see what we expect today. Gino, good morning. Uh, let's see what we expect today. Uh, or in this week, especially in the week, it's not the daily decision, uh, it's the weekly what we expect today. Two interesting for us swing traders, two interesting um, um, appointments we have this, uh, this week. Uh, the Bank of uh, Canada with the interest rate announcement, uh, it's on Wednesday for German time, of course, so switch it and set it to your own um, time. And we expect on Thursday, the ECB interest rate announcement. So as you can see, they plan nothing to change. And um, uh, Canada as well, there is nothing to change. But as we experienced last week, they changed nothing in New Zealand dollar, for example. But the following uh, press conference, they give us or they gave us a little bit um, or maybe a little bit too much movements. So let's see what we expect uh, this week. And we must be a little bit carefully about the Canadian dollar and the euro. OK, so if you have any questions, type it in the YouTube channel or here on Zoom, I can see your questions. It's your show. And I uh, prepared a lot of things this morning for you as well. So first of all, uh, if you wanna get in touch with me directly, then you can do it on Twitter. So there is my name, daytrader70. You can see it here on the lower side, daytrader70. And you can get in touch with me. You can follow me there. And of course, you can send me such uh, some uh, couple of uh, whatever direct messages. So like I have a wonderful conversation with Albert. Greetings to Netherlands, of course. Really happy. And so you can participate from my um, experience. And about other links I want to show you, because this is the really interesting thing um we made a wonderful uh thing to uh support you a little bit more so which means there is an email you can see it's live trading at admiralmarkets.com so what you have to do we want to support you directly if you give us your questions so take your phone and uh, video in this high format, 
then say uh, push the button to record the video. So maybe in this style, for example, then say your name, where you're coming from and your question. The, I think you have, I'm quite sure that you have a lot of questions in your mind about trading, about humanity, about whatever it is in your mind, use it. We created this wonderful email address. And so again, high format, not this, not horizontal, this vertical format, push the button, make a video, say your name, where are you from? Maybe you can take your kid on your, on your legs and maybe you can show us whatever is in your background. So let's take it familiar. Let's take it like a community and then your name, maximum one minute, and then send it to live trading at admiralmarkets.com. And if it's a little bit too big, this video, you can cut it on, uh, it's on homepage xl.com. You can send uh, huge packages maybe. So, and there they will check it, the colleagues from me in, uh, in, uh, on Admirals, and they, they give it to me. Then we show it in the, show, in the morning show, and then I give you the answer. This is really, really cool. Let's try it, guys. Let's try it. And those, uh, that's my social channels you can follow. Okay, I think it's a really cool idea. And uh, my moderator in the back uh, gave you the Forex calendar, the link you can see it uh, on Zoom and of course here in YouTube as well. Okay, guys, we have a couple of trades open. The first one is, let's go through the charts right now this morning. And you know, we only focused on our most important things. First of all, that's our song, you know, if you cannot work with guarantees, you have to work with probabilities. Yeah, I know you can sing it in your mind. Uh, so stick to the rules, always clean and clear pictures at the best, figure out what's the point of control, then follow the plan, cut a possible loss, if the law of probability is not on your side, it's one of the 30%, then cut the possible loss. And if you have a winner, let it run. And the third one is one of the most important things because we have to cut a couple of losses, then we need the big winners, okay? So, and the point of control is a kind of orientation. It's not a part of the rules, of course, the price, we trade the price and not also Japanese, and we trade the price of that. So be focused on rules and be focused on price, but the price, the point of control is not part of the rules. Yeah, it's kind of orientation where we want to go. Okay, and not, oh, I cannot trade because we are not at the point of control, such things, stick to rules, trend, young trend, Correction, balance candle, clear picture at all, okay? This is what we have to do. So basically, in Australian Japanese, uh, uh, Australian dollar Japanese, the yeah, point of control is really far away on the lower side. So trust it, guys, especially we trade prices. And the moment where you trade a price, you know, a price could be high, could be low, or could be fair valued. And we know no price will forever, will be forever high or will be forever low. Every price comes back to a normal price from expensive and from cheap. And this situation we can use. There's only one exception when the price changed to another normal price. But then they must build high volume at another point in the chart. And this we can see if we can work with prices. Okay. So in Australian dollar, Japanese yen, we expect that the price will go down. So we have a lovely trend. It's a kind of clear picture. We have a stabilization there, but the price reject there. We went in on Friday. And now we expect that the price will go down. So where is my point of control? My point of control is there where I have placed my final target. So trust it. I know we have 
quite sure a quite difficult situation at the moment i at the, uh, at this at that moment i know it but this is a kind of protection guys i know the other part of the law of probability is i know it's damn it hard could actually it looks like we are on the 30 percent side because couple of trades are not working for us we had to cut the losses we had losses we are in loss basically with the account with my account of course and it looks like we are at the 30 percent side right now but trust me trading is not a sprint trading is a kind of marathon and we have to trust it because probability means we made a back test. Our back test of kind of trend trading goes back 142 years when Charles Dow figured out, okay, there is a trend and there is an accumulation phase. And now we can add today in the 21st century, we can add the point of control. So this is a human kind of thinking that prices cheap or uh, cheap or expensive goes back to a normal price this is the second protection this is the second guarantee in the market you can work with but you have to trust it yeah and therefore i told you last week you have to be strong enough to be a trader to become a trader is not the point open an account and you are a trader but to be a trader a real trader, a strong trader. This means that you have to be a strong trader, that you have to be powerful, that you have to trust the system, this system, trend trading, for example, and let's do it together. Now you know why so many traders fail in trading. They are sitting alone at home in front of their screens. They have no one to ask. There is no support. And then go to your girlfriend or go to your wife and talk, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. What does your wife will say to you? What, will your, what, what do you think your wife should say to you? What are you doing there by the hack? Yeah, stop doing this. So you cannot talk to anybody or you cannot talk to someone because no one can understand what you feel in this trading stuff here. You can do everything fine and you lose money. Tell this to someone. Every normal people, will, and every normal guy will say, are you stupid? Go back to your normal job and do whatever you want to do. No one can understand what you feel in this trading stuff. So therefore, we created this lovely family here with admirals that you can talk to me. You can talk to Jens. You can talk to Paul, for example. So we are real traders. And only if you have a real trader, only a real trader can talk what are, and can understand what you are going through right now. So this is what we want to do here every morning. I feel the same. Do you think I'm happy? Do you think I'm, 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 I'm happy about the losses right now? No, it's a kind of annoying, but I don't be sad. I'm not sad because I learned to trust my system on a long run. And they will prove it at the end of the year, we will be in profit. I'm quite sure about that. But it's annoying for me as well. And I'm here in the public with my account and people say, oh, you are in loss. What's up with you? Yeah, but this is three months right now. We have to do it for at least one year and then we can make a resume. Yeah, but not yet. Trust the system. And if you feel a kind of, oh my gosh, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah send me an email yeah come back to me and make this video for us i will talk about to you or maybe get in touch with me on twitter or on youtube here on this youtube video so trust it let it run at the moment yeah let it run we had our soft stop above this uh, 0.3 the high the worst case stop is a little bit higher so trust the system if the price will go we cut cut the loss okay if not let it work and don't judge the system on the right side. Don't judge the price. 
just follow the system. This is Canadian dollar, Japanese yen, same system, uh, same situation, point of control is there, where is my, so my target placed actually. So you see, it's a trend. Uh, we had a stabilization last Friday and now we went, actually we have an open position. Yeah, let it work right now, okay? So um, here we go. Next one is Euro Swiss franc. We are a little bit in uh, profit here right now. And the point of control is uh, um, over there at uh, here we go 1.07 roundabout. There is my, my final target. Yeah. So, and we have a trend and we are deep in the green zone. So trust it. Okay. Let it run. Let it run. So here I cut the loss here because we opened a position there after the balance candle. We stuck to the rules, which is very important. Most important thing, by the way. Yeah, and the price worked for us. Then it goes back. And I said there the purple line, there is my, um, my soft stop. Actually, I didn't have a close, but I can see the price is really damn strong. So I decided to cut the loss. By the way, I announced it on Twitter. You can see there that I cut the loss there. So the trend is still valid. And now I'm waiting for the next balance candle. Yeah, just put it on your watch list. New Zealand Canadian dollar. Yeah, it's still our long, our main trend is facing downwards. The secondary trend is facing upwards. And then as, as I promised you, the price went back again. And now we had the last candle was a small balance candle, but I don't care about it because I have a short position in it. And we are within the red zone right now. So point of control is kind of where is my final stop loss right now. And I don't intervene into the trade. I let it run. There are two options. First option, the price goes back. Oh, the point of control, by the way, is lower. Here, where's my target? There's the point of control. First option, the price will go back to the point of control or I get stopped out here. Then I had a profit, but I let the market do what he has to do. Okay, don't intervene in this situation. We want to make this experience together that we can, yeah, that we can feel it together and that can explain it. So take small positions, one micro lot, two micro lots, that you are not engaged in this trade emotionally. Yeah, so out of that, okay? So just technical trading. Same US dollar Japanese yen. We are deep in profits. Yeah, I know the point of control is far away, but you can see the secondary trend is really old. And actually it's fighting in the main trend. The main trend is still facing upwards. Yeah, and that's the point, facing upwards. And this is an old secondary trend. So next options, two options as well. Maybe the price changed there and it goes up again. Oh, I get stopped out below my last point three. So then I have a big, a big winner there. And it's a, just a long running trade, okay? And this is actually the best. It's the FTSE in daily chart. We had a, we sold half of the position, that's fine. And by the way, point of control is there where I have my, uh, my final target placed. So let's see what happened. And I can, there is a kind of, a kind of guarantee that the price will reach the point of control. And I want that we can make this experience together. So trust it, yeah, trust it. So here you can see the little bit in my back. I prepared a little bit for you because the question today is I wanna know from you, how many books or how many trading books have you read already? Yeah, oh, have you read already? Okay, sorry. So answer number one, none. Answer number two, less than five. Or answer number three, more than five. So tell me, let me know how many books, how many trading books have you read? 
uh, have you read already? Jesus, I have this grammar. So, and while you're doing that, I can answer the question. Do you agree with the paradigm in May make your trading go away? No, I don't, Alexandro. This is a kind of perception, yeah? So, you know, I work with karmic principles and I understand the truth of uh, ancient wisdom, 2,500 years. Everything comes from you. That's your pen. Everything comes from you. And this is one of the paradigm uh, in May, make your trade or sell in May and go away. Yeah. Who was, who created this? It's, it's not a guarantee. Yeah. You cannot work with guarantees. Okay. So I am focused on rules. Sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't work. So trust the system. Too many books, too many cooks. <laughs> really, that's really cool. Yeah, so I can see um, most of you read less than five. Okay, at the end, I will show you my, you can see it here a little bit in the back. I will show you at the end of the show. Okay, so fine. Thanks for joining this. Okay, three, two. Okay, that's really cool. So what's on my watch list for today and for the rest of the week? Oh, we have two other trades. Weekly chart. This is US dollar Chile peso. So we opened the trade uh, last week and you see it's another trend continuation candle and you see my target is the point of control. Trust it. Trust it. And we trail the stop bar by bar in weekly chart. Yeah, take one micro lot or two micro lots. Really, really, as you can do it with the small account. Yeah. Next one is US dollar Polish slotty. We open the trade. We are circling around the point of control, but it's a kind of trend. And we expect that the price will go down to the point of flow. So on my watch list for the rest of the week is Australian dollar Swiss franc. So first of all, you see where we are. We are deep in the green zone. The point of control is placed very far away at 0.65389. So actually we try to create a trend. Here you can see we are deep in the green zone. This is a kind of uh, resist zone there. And now at the moment I expect that the price will test this zone again. And if we have more sellers there, we will see it and we will have a balance candle with high volume there. Then we can go down and maybe you can make a screenshot. Maybe it will take a while. Yeah, but make a screenshot right now. See where is the point of control at 0.6538 actually. There is no obstacle on the road to the back of the control to the point of control. So there are two guarantees in the market if you learn to work with prices first guarantee the price will go back to the point of control that's a kind of guarantee because it's normal human behavior the second one is because there is the exception when the price creates another point of control but then we can see it on the left side in this market profile. Okay. When you see the volume is increasing on the left side, the bugs are going to be increasing. Then you can see, okay, market is talking to me. Listen to the market. And then you can become successful in trading. Don't have your own opinion. The market doesn't know you. It doesn't matter what you think. You have the job to do. And your job is to do stick to the rules. That's all. So on my watch list, I'm waiting for the next balance candle. Australian dollar, uh, New Zealand dollar. I have a similar situation. Point of control is down. We have a trend. And now we see we create two balance candles, maybe in a row after a small movement up, uh, facing up what's movement. And maybe if we create high volume there, we can see in the lower volumes and the volume uh, indicator, then I want to open a trade to go down to the point of control. 
Yeah, I will publish and announce it on Twitter if you want. Next one, Canadian dollar, Swiss franc. First of all, it's a, a huge chance. Look at this one. The point of control is far away down, 0.6960. We, are, we create a kind of trend. We have a kind of stabilization or resist zone there. And now I'm waiting for the balance candle to go down. Okay. Canadian Swiss franc on the watch list for the rest of the week. Euro Australian dollar. Point of control far away up. We have a lovely trend. Actually, we see the correction. It's stabilized at 78% um, Fibonacci retracement. And maybe you see, oh, why uh, you didn't open a, a trade there? Yeah, it's a balance candle with high volume. But look at the price right now. The price is going down, actually. Why should I make it? Why should I set a pending order there? It makes no sense. So wait for the next balance candle with high volume. Save your lifetime with that, okay? Euro Canadian, uh, Euro Australian dollar on the watch list for this week. Euro Canadian dollar, we must be careful about the recession on Euro and Canadian dollar, Canadian Wednesday, Euro Thursday. So we had already a uh, close, a uh, price close uh, deeper than 38%. And now we are waiting for a clear balance candle with high volume still on the watch list, Euro Canadian dollar. Yeah, this is Euro British pound. I told you, be carefully with that. Yeah, the, the good news is point of control is far up. Okay, but here that was not really a clear situation to open a trade there. And I said, don't do it. And I could see it in a couple of your FX Blue accounts. You had a trade there. I didn't have, I don't have one. Why? Yeah, clean picture, clean picture, okay? That was not a clean picture there. That was a bullshit picture there. So, and now the price go back. This is my last correction zone. And maybe we will have a stabilization there right now. And maybe this is a kind of support zone here. And maybe we'll see a balance can then, and then we can open the trade to the upper side, go back to the point of control. Yeah, this is not on my watch, this British pound US dollar, but I wanna show you why I opened a trade there in the downtrend. You see why? Okay, point of control is far away, but you see there's a high volume zone. This is a high resist support zone there. You see the price is rejected, was rejected there. Yeah, this is kind of experience we can make together. New Zealand Swiss franc, where we are deep in the expensive price zone. So you need a strawberries cost $12. I'm not stupid <laughs> and buy strawberries for $12 right now. So point of control is far away. We have a trend. We saw this kind of support as said, look at this. This is what prices are doing with buyers and sellers. Okay, trust the price guys. And now we wait for that, this, that the price will be rejected a little bit, I guess here. And I'm quite sure the price will test this zone again. And then is the trend still valid? Then we can open a trade, okay? But not, of course, not today. I hope not, <laughs> I'm not sure. So this is a Hang Seng index. On daily chart, the price goes up and up and up. So there is nothing to do. Still on my watch list, US dollars, uh, Czech Krone. In weekly chart, we didn't open a trade, right? We haven't opened a trade right now. So still on the watch list, but you can see the price is fighting with the point of flow. Right, interesting, huh? That's the point. Yeah, trust the price, okay? So, I want to show you two things, a kind of experience here. Learn, learn right now. So you see, this is a whatever it is. It's weekly chart. It's US dollar Romanian Le. Yeah, this is Romanian Le. So you see, point of control is up there. So can you realize? Look, we were cheap and we went back to the point of control. It took time 
And it was a trend. Trust the price and trust the trend. Okay, this is what we have to do. And again, the price was expensive and the price went back to the point of control. Now, price is cheap and we can expect that the price will go up as long as there is no obstacle on my way. And I can, I can see there is no higher volume than the point of control which the market is creating right now. And here comes the difference to another picture. This is US dollar, uh, Brazilian, what is, what is it, Brazil? It's not uh, Brazil, I, ah, who cares, whatever, who cares? So you see point of control right now is down here at 3.8546. But do you realize something? Look, I can show you, there is the point of control. And you see, there is the same high volume there since the price stabilized around a couple of weeks or month, I would say there. And this is the market is shout is yelling to you right now. And he said, oh, come on, there is my new point of control. You don't have to go down right now. Yeah, you see, and I'm quite sure that the price in the next, maybe next week, will switch to the upper side. So you see, trust the system, yeah, trust it, okay? So now I want to show you, I ask you, Brazilian Real, thank you, this is Brazilian, Brazil Real, yeah. I want to show you, you see, I ask you, and 45% uh, of you, thanks for joining the poll, of course, said uh, you read less than five books. 31% per, says more than five books and 15% uh, says, okay, I didn't read a book about that. So now you see in my back, it's a couple of books I've read. So actually it's uh, most of them are in German, of course. And this book here, this is the, this is my Bible. Yeah, okay, oh my gosh, this is my Bible. Yeah, this is from my own mentor, because my own mentor, I know, I know him since for 20, 20 years right now. And this is, your, look, you can see it. I make some notes in it. So this is my Bible. Yeah, this is uh, the big book of Tao theory. Yeah. And actually, I'm translating it. I'm, tr I'm trying to translate it in, in, in English for you. So special points on it. Yeah. So, and this is... Uh, uh, this is a there is a story in it it's a story of philip and this story of philip and philip can be everybody of you yeah and this is a kind of it's a it's a kind of story and technical part i love this book and the next one is a series of books which based on this book so and here are another books and uh kind of uh, this is available in English as well. For example, a disciplined trader of Mark Douglas, for example. I show you a couple of English books right now. So here we go. And this is another book. And by the way, uh, I'm in. <laughs> I'm in this book as well. So this is a, the great book. And, and here's the, but the newest one. It's called in German, I translated the best trade, the best German traders here. Okay, I'm quite, of course, I'm not the, one of the best, but unfortunately ask me uh, to be within this book. So I'm really sorry, but um, maybe I will translate it in, in English for you. So you see, I read a lot of books, but you know what? Nothing helped. Nothing helped. The only point, that's my Bible, the big book of the Tao theory. This is what really helps. Why? Uh, he opens the trading stuff and he's a kind of mind opener. And what I teach you every morning is based on this Bible. Everything what I teach you but this is, you know, the, the author is my, one of my best friends. It's my, my personal mentor, 
thanks God I have it. Cup con cup, by the way. And um, I often ask him, I often, I really often ask him why it doesn't work. And he always used to say, you have to read between the lines. And I said, why didn't you write, why didn't you write it in? And he said, you wouldn't think. So therefore, which books you have to read? Let me share my screen again, just a moment. So I show you here uh, on Admirals, we will find a really, really interesting list. Top 10 Forex trading books. And I'm quite sure we'll find the link on uh, Zoom and on um, YouTube as well. Top 10 Forex trading books uh, you can read. Uh, Remnant Sense of Stock Operator, The Disciplined Trader by Mark Douglas. This is really, I recommend, highly recommend it. Candlestick Curse, How to Start the Trading Business with Heiken Ashi Trader. Currency forecasting, Japanese candlesticks, how to make a living trading foreign exchange, or the basic explained in simple terms, trading in the zone, really cool book, and Momentum, Direction, and Divergence by William Blow, and Honorable Mansion, Honorable Mansion, Technical Analysis for Dummies by Mrs. Barbara Rockefeller. So you see, uh, I would recommend use it, and then uh, let's work on it every day so if you want to have my recommendation watch this show every morning because nothing can tell better stories than real experience and real trading and this is what i want to do i share 22 years experience with you every morning and i want to work with you together so i hope you learned a little bit about that i hope we'll see each other on youtube or on Twitter, or hopefully tomorrow morning in uh, the next morning briefing show. So uh, subscribe my YouTube channel again and click the button so you will never miss an episode. Give us our comments below that YouTube channel and a like. Thank you, thank you very much. Have courage and be kind. And may the force of the rules be with you. See you, bye-bye.